Okay, everybody, it's that time of year again to install Warcraft 3, uh, both uh, Warcraft and the Frozen Throne. So uh, dust off your uh, CD cases and fire up your CD keys. And let's install Warcraft 3 in Ubuntu 14.04 64-bit version. I have the uh, CD version. I believe it's the CD. <laughs> uh, Warcraft 3 and uh, the Frozen Throne as well. So I'm in a directory on the desktop called the WC3. So I'm just going to grab all these guys here, highlight them all, and just drag them over to here. Okay? So um, the reason I'm doing this is it should be a faster install uh, after we set up Play on Linux. Okay? So I thought I'd mention that. And I'm going to create another folder and do the exact same thing uh, with the Frozen Throne uh, disk. I did a quick uh, search in command line, um, uh, apt-cache apt -cash search, and then I did a show apt-cache show. And I uh, noticed uh, the Ubuntu developer team, and it's the latest version. Um, I suspect you should go into your... Uh, Settings and go to software and updates and other software. Make sure this is checked. Partners and source code. Uh, I'm not sure if that's why I'm getting the latest version, but uh, make sure you have that checked and uh, it will ask you to reload. So just reload and then uh, we'll move on to play on Linux. So the home page is here. And uh, if you right click, I'd like to download. If you right click inside the uh, command prompt, uh, control, sorry, not right click, control and uh, left click, it should open up uh, Firefox if you have Firefox, if you're using that. And uh, go to the download page down to Ubuntu. It has a note here precise and superior, so I guess 1404. You must install the wine colon i386 to get play on Linux working. And then uh, I guess for precise, so earlier versions, you can add the, I mean, you can run the command. So uh, with that, uh, search uh, wine, let's do wine, here we go. And it says wine uh, 1.4-i386 and then uh, 1.6. Um, so I we should try to get both, or if not, well, it says dummy. So I'll try to get the 1.6-i386 first and see if we have any luck with that. So it's uh, sudo apt get. Here, let me zoom in here for you. sudo apt get install wine 1.6 dash i386 I believe I hope press enter 623 megabytes so yeah that sounds about right okay so maybe that's why some of the wine um, installations and stuff haven't been working from uh, what I've been seeing on some of the forms and uh, feedback and videos as well so okay I'll let this uh, do its thing another thing I should mention I was looking at the Arch Linux uh, page and it said to make sure you install GN utils and uh, it boomed to look like GN utils dash bin so sudo apt get install so I'll just I'll upload these notes for you just in case you need it so let's move on and see if we can uh, install play on Linux so sudo app get install play on Win. And hopefully we're getting the uh, latest version as it said in the search I'm guessing that we could have installed that from the software center I'll do a quick check it says that looks like the same version as it is on the site all right I just wanted to make sure. So uh, open up our Dasher, play, there he is. 
and uh, give it some time refreshing playing on Linux and uh, we'll see and here we go hit next and first juice next and now what <laughs> it's uh, searching okay uh, apparently it's finished uh, configuring or uh, refreshing so I'll click the uh, plus sign and see if it's uh, Oh look, it's got testing in there already. Okay, there's the first one we want. And uh, hopefully it'll pick up on that. So we click install. And it says leave uh, when it leave the default location. Do not tick the checkbox, run the program if asked. Okay, so okay. So the installer should come up and ask us where we want to install this from. Next, uh, set up for my computer. That's the two folders I created. So we're going to use the first one to hit next, and then we browse over our desktop, install XE, hopefully, hit next, and it's downloading uh, Wine version 1.2.3 for us. And uh, looks coming down pretty fast, actually. That's good. So at this point, we install War. Warcraft 3 agree and uh, you can uh, choose any name and I'm gonna have to fill in the uh, CD key so I'll be back in a second and hopefully this works all right uh, the installer was uh, really pretty quick uh, desktop shortcut that's up to you I'm just like no and exit installer I believe and then we'll click uh, how much memory you have on your graphics card? Uh, 1024 for me. I wish I had 4096, but I only have 1024. Next. And there it is. And it created a desktop shortcut anyway, up here on the top left. Oh well, no big deal. Okay, so we're going to have to go to blizzard.net and log in. Hopefully you have an account. If you don't, just create one and download the latest patch so uh, I'll get to that and I'll uh, be back in a second uh, it took me a while uh, to figure out I, can't, I couldn't remember so I typed in World, uh, Warcraft 3 patch and it brought me to the battle.net sport en English article or classic game patches and you take from a drop down list so we want uh, we we'll also get both of them so the full patch is uh, 1268 uh, English exe Save it to downloads, and we also want to get the frozen throne, and we'll save that. So, with that madness out of the way, here's the Reign of Chaos, the one we have installed. I'll just throw it in the uh, WC3 folder. Okay, so uh, set up a file for my computer. Next, browse desktop, and where is he? He's there. Okay, make sure you have that selected. Open. Next. Target uh, virtual drive. Um, yeah, usually works. No guarantee. Okay. After you have uh, both uh, games or both the game and expansion uh, installed, uh, go to uh, the right side and select configure. And under arguments, hopefully, hopefully you have that. Uh, you put in a dash. Open GL. I know that looks like a Q, but it's Open GL. Okay. And then we go to the Wine tab here at the top, under beside General. We go to Configure Wine. Under Graphics, uh, just to test, I made sure that Emulate a Virtual Desktop is checked, and I made a 1024 by 768 screen resolution, which is what you see here and then you click apply and then okay and this closes now let's go to the registry editor and I've been uh, messing around with a couple of things in here under miscellaneous where it says scene intro movie change that to one so like the or decimal doesn't matter make sure that uh, value is one so we've already checked that and that won't play the intro movie because they don't work under wine and under video 
So under, uh, sorry, I should explain where this whole thing is. It's uh, <laughs> uh, hotkey, hkey, current user, software, Blizzard Entertainment, Warcraft 3, and then whatever you string you um, folder you want. So now it's in video. And under res width and res height, you change these to correspond to what your desktop is going to be. So double click that and it's usually defaults to hexadecimal, go to decimal. So there's 1024 and then the other one, decimal 768. All right, that should be good enough for that. So I'll close the registry editor and then do a window reboot to simulate our Windows reboot. Now let's go to the folder where uh, Warcraft 3 is. So it's under, it should be under the, de if, if you set everything default, it's under Play on Linux Virtual Drives, Warcraft 3, C Drive, Program Files, Warcraft 3, and under Movies, I, there's a, uh, for Warcraft, um, the seven movies, you're going to have to archive these or delete them. I put them in an archive, then delete them after. But you can watch them through uh, your regular, whatever video player you're using, but you can't, they won't show up in the game. But make sure you have these deleted at least or renamed so they won't play. With that said, uh, let's uh, take Green of Chaos and select Run. And we should have 1024 by 768 desktop and it should uh, be running fairly smoothly you can see here so under options you go to video you can see again it's because of the registry we set the resolution so that's I think that's the best way to set that up is through the registry editor that uh, wine uh, sets up for you I mean uh, play on Linux um, gives you access to easier than uh, doing the console and single player when you first run it'll ask you for a name just type anything you want you go to campaign and you can choose the prologue and just do a introduction just do a quick run and we can see and oh I've already done the introduction I'm sorry I'm sorry um, all right human campaign so it contains story elements. Loading, chapter one. There we go. And we have a little uh, introduction. These work the mini in-game cinematics, but uh, so you press uh, F10, end game, and exit program. Yes. Done. So uh, thanks to the viewer for suggesting I make another updated video on this, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. And to everyone, uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, any questions, feel free to add or comments. And uh, that's it for this one, and thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.